Minecraft has cemented itself as one of the greatest games ever created. I can't even begin to imagine what the game industry would have been like right now without it. Whether you like the game or not, there is no question that Minecraft has laid the groundwork for all future open world sandbox titles. Yet Minecraft at its core is quite simple, not just with its gameplay, but also from a technical standpoint as well. Many individuals have worked on Minecraft clones ever since it became popular. A sizable number of tutorials on YouTube discuss how to recreate Minecraft with other programming languages, like C++ and C Sharp. My personal favorites, however, have to be developers using Unity or Unreal Engine to create the game from scratch. Heck, people have even managed to recreate Minecraft and Game Maker of all things. Today, however, I'm going to show you how I brought my favorite game franchise and Minecraft together in one video. The beginnings of my Minecraft Halo video started from Altus's Minecraft mod for Halo Custom Edition. There have been previous custom maps for CE that have ported Minecraft content to the engine, but nothing like this. Altus's Minecraft mod has the ability to place and break blocks along with a slew of ported weapons that retain aspects from both games. The mod is amazing, and I recommend you check it out. All of his hard work inspired me to take a crack at this in Unity. Now one important thing to remember with game development, and especially doing it on your own, is that there are plenty of resources open for you to use to help get started. I'm not a programmer, and it is exceedingly difficult for me to break down systems in my mind and translate that into some form of code. That's why I spend plenty of time browsing GitHub for open source solutions to problems I can't solve on my own. GitHub has a wide variety of projects for you to use for any of your needs, as long as they have some license that says you can use them for free. Don't be afraid to try exploring these existing projects though. I find myself learning quite a bit from them and it makes development so much smoother. My goal was to find a Minecraft project someone worked on with Unity that I could use. Many programmers have taken turns at replicating the chunk generation Minecraft uses and bringing that over to Unity. Others, however, have fully replicated some of Minecraft's gameplay mechanics, which is exactly what I wanted. Luckily for me, someone named Alex Schaldenbauer had did just that. He has a website that fully explains how we recreated Minecraft in Unity, including some helpful information for future programmers. I also found another project created by someone called Bondé Doncillaire, which initially didn't perform as well as I wanted, yet it had a menu that replicated Minecraft very closely. With these two projects I now had, I combined their best elements together to get what I desired. Now if you notice between the two clips I'm showing right now, the menus that come with these projects don't exactly mimic Minecraft's actual menus as well as I'd like them to. I spent a lot more time on recreating Minecraft's menus than getting Halo content into the engine, as I've had much more experience with that now. I really wanted to make sure the menus were good enough to trick people into thinking it was a regular Minecraft mod. Something that's actually really cool about the menu is how the background works. What Doncier did was pretty creative, as they had the brilliant idea to make the skybox as the background of the menu, instead of just a flat image. I'm not sure if Minecraft itself does it like this, but when extracting the assets, the menu background was broken into six different images that I fit together like a skybox setup in Unity would. I felt this part was the most satisfying as it really gave the menu that proper Minecraft look. Doncier's project also had camera rotation that mimicked Minecraft's menu along with the text that would appear above the Minecraft logo. The final additions I made was bringing over source menu assets that Minecraft uses and converting the previous buttons into ones that closely resembled how they appear in the actual menus. When the menus were completed, it was just a matter of bringing over my existing ports of Halo CE's assets and getting them to look correctly in the Minecraft level. I changed some code for the weapon animations to use the existing keybinds in the Minecraft project. And then of course, a Halo crossover wouldn't be complete without the iconic Halo skybox. I ended up not going into any advanced lighting techniques or crazy post-processing effects for the video. Vanilla Minecraft isn't really known for that, but the project did come with some default ambient occlusion that makes it look a little cleaner. Anything else would have just made it look not as convincing. And that's pretty much it. I encourage you guys to go and check out these projects I've linked below to play around with what they have to offer. If you make something cool with them, please share it with me because I love seeing this kind of stuff. As always, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more awesome Halo content.